Hi guys! So today's video is finally going to be my introduction to surrealism. So before I even start this video, I want to say that there is so much to say about surrealism. And surrealism is a movement that evolved. It's also a movement that was present in different geographical zones. So, you know, different historical contexts as well. And obviously you could make you know a dozen of videos and they could be like one hour long and you would still have things to say so I intend to have a very exhaustive and complete view with all the details and the information you could want about surrealism i'm just you know trying to make it as short and informative as possible uh, with it being you know just an introduction video and um, i love surrealism it's my favorite movement i think and i'm writing my dissertation on surrealism on french egyptian and japanese surrealist movement so you know i feel like i'm quite knowledgeable but i'm also not an expert so surrealism is a movement that was born in french but became very quickly an international process an international and very collective movement however most of the most famous writers were and are French. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's no, you know, uh, foreign <laughs> uh, authors that were surrealist and, you know, wrote amazing surrealist works. It just means that they're underestimated and under um, analyzed or studied, which is a big shame. Not to say that even the translation and translated works are very few, and that's a big issue when you want to study, for example, Japanese surrealism. Surrealism is a movement that includes different artistic mediums like writing, painting, drawings, and even film. I'm gonna focus on literary surrealism in that video because that's the one I know the best and that's the one I'm the most interested in but by all means feel free to do your own research on paintings for example I know that many people know surrealism mostly for the paintings and not so much for the literature so you know that's also a very important part of surrealism surrealism is a complex uh, movement mostly due to its own nature it was codified um, mostly by the two manifestos that were written by André Breton, who was the leader of the movement. André Breton was himself a very controversial figure, uh, thought to be too dogmatic, authoritarian or strict by many. And there were a lot of internal debates and disagreements in surrealism, which often led to a few authors being, you know, rejected. But despite all of that, surrealism was a very strong and unified movement, and André Breton still remains one of the most important literary figures, uh, not only in the French literature, but worldwide. To say that surrealism is a literary movement or an artistic movement would be wrong, at least according to the surrealists themselves, because surrealism was mainly a revolution. It wanted to be a revolution and not only a political or an artistic revolution, but a revolution of life, of the human life. They wanted to be as close as possible to the truth of the thinking process. They wanted to be a rebellion and a revolution of the thought, of the creation and of life itself, which explains the many exchanges and relationships that surrealism had with political fights and with communism for example and mostly with communism as it was a revolution and also an artistic revolution the literary production is often very difficult to understand um and that's why i think many people kind of shy away from surrealist works but one thing that you would have to understand is that i think wanting to understand surrealism is a bit of a it's a bit of an illusion at least in the sense of you know, in the accepted and most usually accepted sense of the word understand. Because understanding surrealism and surrealist works is very different from understanding, let's say, a romanticism or realism. The way you read and the way you understand a realist novel is very different from the way you read and understand a surrealist essay or some surrealist poems. Obviously, being a revolution, surrealism had a lot of very new ways to create and ways to write. From associations to automatisms to uh, hypnosis even when, you know, writing, um, tr you know, just writing dreams to the reject of novels and very traditional narrative constructs. Surrealism was a very, and still is honestly, a very, very modern movement. Surrealism has been both very praised and very criticized. It's been criticized for, due to Breton, 
and his personality due to the dogmatic aspect of it, due to the lack of female representation and also the objectification of women, due also to some homophobic statements sometimes, uh, but it was also praised for its absolute undeniable artistic quality for the modern aspect of the movement. And we also have to acknowledge how much a surrealist advocated for freedom, freedom, and how much they fought against uh, any totalitarian system. Most important themes of surrealism are women and desire, uh, love. Love is a very big thing, even if it's a very traditional sort of love. The power of dream, the exploration of the subconscious, which explains the very great interest that surrealists had for psychoanalysis, which was a contemporary science of the movement, but also the interest that some people in the psychoanalytic you know, world had for surrealists. Um, another very, very, very important theme of surrealism is just associati associations, as I said, but decoding the signs and trying to understand life and the world through objects and little things that you would not usually notice. The complexity of surrealist writings should not be an obstacle to you reading them. Um, because honestly, I think surrealism is one of the very few movements that is still, a, a, even now, very modern and very much um, strong and relevant. I think it's a whole different way to look at the world and also to understand our lives as human beings and what it means to be um, committed to a cause and what it means to be truly alive. It's also a wonderful exploration of the human mind because after all surrealism wanted to be two things. If I can summarize it like that, surrealism was a revolution and surrealism wanted to be as close as possible to the human mind and the human um, thinking process. So basically when you read surrealist works what you have is the production of minds that are free from the very absolute control of reason that was very 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 present and it still is somehow present nowadays and um, so you have access to creation and productions that include madness that look at madness differently that look at you know fantasies and desires and even eroticism or even just luck and chance and coincidences you know differently There's a lot more to say about surrealism and there would be, you know, different videos to make, like um, feminism and surrealism, psychoanalysis and surrealism, um, Middle East and surrealism, um, Japanese and Korean surrealism, uh, Europe and surrealism, communism and surrealism, Dada and surrealism, which are, by the way, very different. What you have to kind of remember from that video is that surrealism is a revolution. It's a revolution of the mind, it's a revolution of life, which obviously translated itself or expressed itself through art as well, be it painting, writing, film, writing, drawing, whatever. The literary production is very modern and you would also have to remember how um, diverse it could be, yet how unified it remained. It, if we stick to French surrealism, a few authors I would really like to suggest are André Breton, obviously, uh, Aragon, very very important as well, Éluard, uh, Reverdy, Michel Léris, uh, and not my favorite at all, but Arto was also a very interesting uh, author. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. I hope this was somehow interesting and informative. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. And if you have anything specific that you would like me to talk about in link with surrealism, I could try to do it if I see that this video is interesting for you. Um, yeah, so I encourage you to go out, buy a surrealist book and just experience it. It's amazing. Thank you for watching and I shall see you later. Bye!